Good morning, people. It's John from Veganism Kills. It's 9.04 a.m., November 12th, Friday the 13th. Unlucky day. If you guys know how to follow your history, bad day to be a Templar a couple hundred years ago. Um, I want to talk to you about vegan ethics and morality and sensitivity. Now, today... I've noticed something about vegans since my first dealings with them and the anti-vegans. For I too once was looking to go vegan as a form of to drop weight, not realizing my doctor told me there's too many complications that go with veganism, which I shared with many people. Death by veganism, you know, I see people died, especially the, those that are weakest intelligence or the ones that are dying the children you got children running away from home from their vegan parents you got children that are in the hospital with cerebral palsy you have people that were vegan on youtube saying they never get cancer get breast cancer then saying they don't need to seek treatment because they're vegan then they die of cancer he asks a vegan a simple question, if I go vegan, how do I make up for the vitamin deficiencies? Where do I source these vitamins? They don't know. If they, don't, if they, if they can't tell you where to get adequate, adequate vitamins and sources of all the stuff that veganism doesn't have in its diet and they don't know, they're malnourished. If you have no knowledge where to get vitamin A from, which you can't get, efficiently you can't get carnosine you can't get taurine you can't get a couple of complex d's and k's even a couple of complex b vitamins you're, you're spraying yourself with b12 but you've got the other b complex vitamins and you have no idea where to get them so if you have no idea that they exist you have no idea to include them in your diet so I hate to bust it to you, vegans. You're malnourished, whether you like it to acknowledge it or not. If you don't know which vitamins are missing from the vegan diet and you don't source those vitamins somewhere else, you're deficient. If you don't know what D3 is or K2 is, how do you know how to source it? And, how, and if you, and you don't realize you're lacking it, how do you say your diet is completely nutritious? So enough on that. What I want to talk about really is how vegans act. People who are anti-vegan telling you they're very extremely upset because 84% of the people that tried veganism left for health reasons. Basically, they felt they were lied to and scammed. So you're going to get... And believe me, they have been lied to and scammed. So they're going to be harsh with any vegans out there promoting this diet that made them sick, a large volume of them sick, a ridiculous amount of people got sick on veganism. Here you are pushing the diet and these people are like, well, wait a minute, why are you telling him that the diet's perfectly uh, healthy and it's made all of us over here that you labeled crazy anti-vegan sick? Why are you doing this? And... What I found out is after I researched all the vegan talking heads, the one that call, calls people who eat meat Nazis, people who drink milk rapists, people who eat meat uh, uh, committing an animal holocaust, all derogatory terms and every name in the book that you could call somebody that eats meat with your far-flung reality bubble wherever you're living in, you're going to breed animosity. And then when they come back to you and say something derogatory to you, all of a sudden, we're being bullies. Now, now we're crying now, because now the group that you associate with is giving it, but when they get it back, they can't take it. They can't take it. You had to see the drama that was going on with Tuesday, a.k.a. anti-vegan, because she told... I watched the whole video. The guy came on to her through YouTube. She was looking for spiritual guidance. 
as she was becoming born again. I know, I understand the situation. He was attracted to her and said he wanted to marry her. And she turned around and said, marry you? She goes, I haven't even met you, but, but no place on YouTube. What the hell are you talking about? She, and, and, and another thing, she's a Latina. This guy, I don't know what he is, but no Latino woman would like him at all because he just doesn't have, he's too meek. He doesn't have that fire, that Latino fire that attracts Latinas. You don't have that, forget it. They, and they'll tell you too. Oh, you want to get married? Somebody, she said an insult to the guy, Hamlin, whatever his name is, and said, maybe someday you'll make somebody a good wife. And he turned around calling her a drug addict, a whore, a liar, a blackmailer. So I asked him, if, oh, well, if, if, if she's doing all these things, prove it. They can't prove it. Like, they can't prove it. Just like how their diet is completely nutritious, they can't prove that either. If your diet is completely nutritious, stop taking supplements. <coughs> Excuse me. Frog in my throat in the morning. So, this is the most condescending pack of people I ever met. And it's so hypocritical, it, it denies reason. They keep saying that farming doesn't kill animals. And then when they find out it does kill animals, well, it's versus intentional versus non-intentional. Well, if you're eating, you know animals are being killed farming the products that you eat. I'm sorry, it's not unintentional anymore. It's intentional. Stop farming and you won't kill the animals. It's just that easy. Stop eating avocados, killing moles and voles. Stop eating rice and they'll stop killing 40,000 ducks. Stop eating rice and the rabbits won't be shot. The crows won't be shot. So it is intentional. And you vegans are paying for it. Stop the hypocrisy. Stop pushing this diet. It's making people sick. There's too many pe people willing to give a testimony that your diet made them sick. And if you're going to hang out with the group that's calling everybody rapists, Nazis, murderers, uh, Marquis de Sade, Holocaust deny is or whatever you're calling everybody you better be ready to get some abrasive feedback and if it bothers you shut the fuck up all right later <clears throat> not to mention that some of you vegans are racist and i have it a 16 year old girl that lost her mother and the guy's using black emojis with a black person in chains and calls somebody a, uh who eats meat and he happens to be C cambodian a ghetto Cambodian. And then then when you say something back, ah, you're a bully. You vegans are retards. That shit's not working. You better take that SJW tactic. Go back to your professor in college that taught you and tell him to come up with something new. And, and yeah, by the way, I was asked to tenor at St. John's University twice already. So don't come off that you're smarter than me. All right? This cupboard's not telling you what's in the book. I'm out. I'll chew you up and spit you out.